you were talking over a period of time about uh, a motor glider concept, uh, both uh, powered as well, excuse me, conventionally powered as well as electric. What's the status on that project? Well, that's going really well. Uh, I've, I've been uh, flying the Ziggolo basically all over the world. I just came back from Peru and helped a customer build one and fly it there, and that was a really lot of fun. And it's a really easy project to build, and that's a $12,000 aircraft, and that includes the engine. And I built one in two weeks. What's interesting about that is it's a true part 103 ultralight, so you can fly it in the mornings and evenings in the calm weather, but it's a dual purpose. You get a two for one on this airplane because it has a really low wing loading, which means it's a floater. It means all you have to do is get up like a motorized glider and turn off the engine and stay up in mild thermals or ridge soar. That's what the airplane is designed for. Years ago, there was a concept that the old advanced aviation worked on where they had a little glider and they were going to tow it with ultralights and everything else. It was such an elegant concept and I was absolutely sure it was going to catch on because, I mean, who could beat a $2 glider flight overall, maybe? I'm hoping that at some point some of these concepts will catch on because the gliders, of course, are a serious backbone to aviation, but more important than anything else, teach the kind of skills that just make better pilots in the long run. Yeah, that's true, and, and again, it, it's affordability. For $12,000 gets you flying, and it's basically almost nothing besides maybe some hangar fees, and now we have a new quick remove wing. It's a two minute each wing to take the wings off, and it'll take up a lot less hangar space or make it easy to transport home. That'll save a lot of money. And then the electric power is well suited for this. There's a whole lot of activity going on electric, but there's nothing that viable yet because people are trying to put it into bigger, aircraft that require too much power to stay in the air. So when you fly with a clean airplane, a single seat airplane, a motor glider or a Zigolo motor glider that only flies comfortably at 30 miles an hour and doesn't require a lot of power, it actually works. And we can stay within the part 103 limit with our battery pack and we get up, turn the motor off and simply turn it back on anytime you want like a, with the rule of real stat, like a ceiling fan and just wind it back up, you know, you know it's going to start. What kind of costs and capabilities do you envision for the electric version? Well, the electric version, of, a complete Zigolo and electric version will be 20000 So the batteries really uh, go up, bring the price up a bit. Aero TV is brought to you by... Since 2001, MGL Avionics has produced avionics for experimental and light sport aircraft. The flagship product is the IEFIS, a comprehensive next-generation flight, engine, and navigation instrument designed to meet the demands of the modern pilot. See more at www.mglavionics.com. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115-horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com.